to begin, you're going to want to open the program ImageJ. Next, you'll want to drag the photo that you wish to analyze into the program. And then, in order to actually analyze the intensity, the only measurement that you want image J to take is the mean gray value. This will tell you the relative brightness of the pixels within your macro. You can set the parameters of measurement by clicking on Analyze, Set Measurements, and then only selecting Mean Gray Value, and then OK. This should be done before recording the actual macro. Then, to record, you want to open Plugins, Macros, and then record. Now the macro will record anything that you do within image J. Next, to choose the shape and size of the macro, you want to click on whichever shape you choose. In our case, we used rectangular. And then click and drag anywhere within the photo to alter the shape and size. For whatever reason, if you don't like the shape or the location or whatever and just want to start over, you can always click outside of the shape and then start again. After you've created the shape and size that you desire and dragged it to the specific location of the structure within this photo, you want to save your macro. Do this by clicking on Create within the recorder and then File and then Save As. Make sure that the last three letters of your file remain IJM so that the file saves properly. Now, tell the program to measure the intensity by clicking on Analyze, and then Measure, and then, or if you want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can use Control-M or Command-M if you're using a Mac. You'll want to make sure to measure your intensity outside of the recorded macro because the location of the desired structure will vary from photo to photo. So, to analyze the next photo, you want to close that photo and drag the next one into the program. Now you can open the previously recorded macro by clicking on plugins, macro, and then run. Now just open the file you've saved previously, drag the macro to the specific location of the structure, and then click on analyze and measure. And that's it.